But in the tablet, there's more explanation. In a Nairobi school, children test a new educational device. Its name, Ilimu, means learning in Swahili. It brings the Kenyan curriculum to life with videos, diagrams and quizzes. Almost half of all Kenyan school children drop out by the age of 14, leaving with a very basic education. The people behind this pilot scheme say that if the learning process is made interactive and engaging, the kids will decide to stay. Kawangwari is one of the poorest parts of the capital. Many of the children are here just to receive this one meal a day. Joseph is 18 years old and much older than the other children. He spent most of his younger years on the street selling drugs. The school houses him and this new program has given him hope. It can help me improve my future so that I may not struggle in, in life, so that I may carry what I need, my dreams, my visions. I can carry them without any problems. And this is where the idea was born. iHub, or Innovation Hub, is a space for Nairobi's technology community. Um, and evaluating those judgments. And the founder of Ilimu says her application is not just about education. It's about making better citizens. We sat down here and we developed something that looked good, that was visually stimulating for children, that was engaging and interactive, and that had the content, that culturally relevant content for Kenyan students. One of the reasons why so many Kenyan children leave school early is a shortage of teachers. Kenya needs an extra 80,000. Amaf's headmaster says this new software could change things. I was in the United Kingdom last year. What I see today through Elimu is uh, what I saw in the United Kingdom. And if this thing can uh, be, be, be rolled to other schools, many children will come back to school. The pilot project is in the very early stages, but the results and attendance of these children are already improving. There are only 11 devices being shared by two schools. If this scheme is to work, it needs funding and backing. Nazanin Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Nairobi.